Okay, I've done both of my soles, and then I have my other brown pair. So, um, the way we get this shoes to look, the sandals to look like you have the edge here, see with our stitching? And not just on the end, because we can't um, attach it to the chains in the end. What we need to do in order to get this sandal look on the edge is that we're going to be attaching not into the chain here. So when you attach, you, you're not going to do this. But I want you to actually go into the post. See how your hook is under the bottom? And you don't have to worry because this is going to be covered up. So none of these stitches are going to show and we're going to pull some of our tails to the bottom. Don't worry about it. That's not going to show. And But we are going to be gathering and a post is going to have two little loops there. Okay, can you see that? So if you're just grabbing one like this, that's not right. I want you to grab both posts. Basically, it's like you're getting, here's a chain, right? You're going to go down there and you're going to grab two posts. The posts there. And that's considered one post, not two. So here you're going to be grabbing there and then you're going to be doing your stitching there. So it's very important or else you won't get this little edge. Okay, and you want to have that little edge there. And then our, our sewing it, when we sew them together, it'll give us this look like kind of like the seams on your shoes you want to have that look so see how these are the edges okay so now remember where our uh, string is that's the heel right now they look the same see I fit them together and some people say well they look like they're both going the same way well you can see when you flip it over one can be going right and one could be going left but it's really going to be the shaping is going to be when we shape uh, our straps so I want you to start for your first shoe, okay? You're gonna do it in, I'm gonna do it in the brown. This is where you could do this white and then pink or yellow, whatever color you want. These are gonna have your three colors. So I'm gonna do it in the brown. So I get my first shoe, okay? And um, I'm gonna be working on this. So you're gonna get it with the heel pointing towards you. And what I want you to do here, let me see if I could get closer so you could see exactly where we're going to be attaching. So here's our slip stitch, and this is going to be kind of help us guide us as we go along. So here I want you to count from the slip stitch, I want you to count five stitches, okay? And we're going to slip stitch into the post, we're going to the left. So here it is, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip that one. Let's see, here's one, two, three, four, five. And then in our next post here, right there, is where I'm going to stick in my hook. I'm going to get my yarn, whatever color you're using. It's very important that you use the same weight yarn. So even though it's different color, like both of these, they're both the um, impeccable because I want to make sure I have the same weight. It's very important or else your, your shoes are not going to come out the same way or else they're going to wave. Okay, so here once I get got it there onto, I skipped my first five posts. I'm going, you're going to get your yarn. You're going to pull it through the bottom here, through the post. See, now you're off the edge. See how you have that little edge free? And that's what you want. What I always do then here, you don't have to be too careful because remember, we're going to pull these through the bottom of the shoe and then they're going to be sewn in between. They're going to be sandwiched in between the brown and the beige um, sole. There's two soles here. You're going to have more sole than you can control. So once you do that there, you're going to slip stitch it there. Let me get my instructions here. So for the first um, two rows, okay, we're going to, um, once you get it there, I want you to chain three. One, two, three. And this is going to count like a double crochet. And now when you do there, I want you to do two double crochets into the same post. Okay, let me see if I could get a little bit, I don't want to get lose my place here in the camera. So once you do that there, you're going to wrap your yarn, you're going to go back into that post here, see? Let me move that yarn out of the way. And I'm going to do two double crochets in there. So there's my three loops. One. And it's going to feel kind of a little bit weird, but it's okay. You'll be able to shape it. Two. Okay. So there's two. So including your three chains, there'll be three. And now you're going to go um, into the next post here. And you're going to do one double crochet there. The next one. Okay. Grab that. Let me move this tail. So here's our double crochet. So there we're going to have a total of four. I'm going to grab this yarn 
with my hook and pull it to the bottom. Remember, this is going to be sandwiched between the soles, so that's why I said don't worry about your tails down there. Okay, so that is your first little section here, okay? So now that I did that, I want you to, um, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now you're going to skip five posts on the bottom here. One, there's one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth post then, we're going to do our double crochet into the post. I hope I'm not confusing you. There's one double crochet. And then I'm going to do another one. So there'll be two double crochets in the first post. And then in our very next post, I'm going to do one double crochet. So now we're going to have three posts there. One, two, three. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And now this time, we're only going to skip four posts. There's one, two, three, four. On the fifth post here, we're going to do two double crochets into that fifth post. Here's one, two, okay, and then on the post after that, we're going to do one double crochet. Okay, here we go. So we're going to have three posts there as well, like here. So now we're here. I want to, you to chain six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the front of the toe. The toes go here, the front of the shoe. And now I want you to skip 12 posts because we want to end up on this side. So here we go. One, two, let me see if I get that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, is that right? Oops, let me see here. Sorry, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here on this next stitch here is where I'm going to do my next two double crochets. Don't want to lose my place there. So here is my space. So I'm going to do two double crochets here. There's one, two, and then in the very next post, you're going to do one double crochet. The next post, one double crochet. Okay, so this is the front of the sandal where the toes will stick out. So once you do that, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, repeat what we did on the other side. We're going to skip four posts, one, two, three, four on the fifth post. We're going to do two double crochets there, one, two. And then the post after that, one double crochet. Okay. Now we're going to chain three chains. One, two, three. This time we're going to skip five posts. One, two, three, four, five. And in our sixth one, we're going to do two double crochets in the first post. Pull it out there. One, two, and then we're going to double crochet one in the next post. We got three. And then one in the next post. So you're going to have four there, okay? 
So you're going to do that for both shoes. It's going to be the same for both. So go ahead and do this for your second shoe. This is your roll one for the top of your shoe. Okay, once you've done, let's pretend we've done this one now. I'm going to go up to row two. Here to go up on our shoe, you're going to finish both of them, right? So you're not going to be cutting off. Don't cut the yarn off yet. We're not done with the brown. So here you're going to chain two. One, two. Now we're going to turn our work over and we're going to start working from right to left. And we're going to do a half double crochet in each of the next 15 chains, including these chains here. So when we go across, I'm going to be doing 15 double crochets. So go ahead and do your 15 double crochets, including going over the chains here, your spaces of the chains. You're going to do one double crochet in each one of those. So go ahead and do your 15 double crochets. Okay, I've done my 15 du half double crochets going across. And see how the shoe kind of ripples? Don't worry about it. We're going to sew it together and it'll give it um, shape once you have the second sole on there. So here, once we do the four, the, excuse me, the 15 half double crochets we're going to do three single crochets together so what we want to do here is that on our next uh, chain here I know it's kind of hard to see because it's dark the color is a little dark let me see if I can put a little bit more light so here what we're going to do is you're going to go into the next chain you're going to go in grab your yarn but don't pull it out yet go to the next chain grab your yarn do not oops grab your yarn do not pull it out yet and then on the third one, you're going to do the same thing here. Grab your yarn. Do not pull it out yet, okay? So you're going to grab them all three and pull together at the same time. Now, I want you to go ahead and do one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get the phone. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry about that guys. So here we've done our three single uh, crochets together and now here across the toe on the next four chains, one, two, three, four, I want you to do one half double crochet in each one of those, okay? So my next one here, um, we're forming the top of the strap that goes on top of the, shoe, uh, the toes. So here I'm going to do one, the next one is going to be two, oops. Two, three, oops, didn't go through the chain. Okay, there it is. Three, and my next one is four. Wait, do one. Okay. Okay, I've done my four half double crochets across the toe. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did on this side, three single crochets together. So we're going to the next chain, you're going to go one, pull out our yarn, but don't pull it through yet. The next chain, two, and then the next space, three. And now we have should have four loops of yarn on our hook, and you're going to pull through all three. Kind of tighten it, and that forms a top of the toe. Now here, to go on the other side, now we're just going to go ahead and do a single crochet, uh, half double crochet, excuse me, half double crochet in every chain until we get here to our very first space, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do, I think it's 15, so you're going to do um, all your half double crochets all the way across in every single chain, including the chains that go over the open spots here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and show you how to close the, up the back of the sandal. So go ahead and do all your crocheting, your half double crochet until you get here to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. Half double crochet, and here is my last stitch. I'm going to do a half double crochet here. Okay. When you come here to the end, I want you to chain four, one, 
two, three, four. You're going to come to the other edge here, the end, and on your very first stitch there on the second chain, one, excuse me, on the, sec the second chain, one, two, I want you to slip stitch through there. Okay, and now you can fasten off. I'm going to work on my second shoe. When I'm done, I'll come back. So this is what it should look like so far. Okay, don't worry about these tails. These, this tail we're going to work in as we're crocheting. So go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do my second shoe. The same, very same way. Okay, everyone, we're almost done. Don't give up on me. So here, remember I told you that these strings will help guide us, our slip stitches. So here's where we end it, right in the back. This is the heel of our shoes, our sandals. These are the toes where the little chubby feet peek out. So here we're going to get our first shoe. Um, you can grab either one. It, they're the same. At this point, they're still the same. So we're going to start with this shoe, and we're going to work on our left shoe, okay? So what we're going to start here, when we have this slip stitch here, we're going to count chains going to the right. This is the toe of the shoe. So we're going to start counting to the right for our left shoe. For the other shoe, then we'll count this way. So here, we're going to count for our left shoe. We're going to count 13 chains over, okay, from the slip stitch. Here's a slip stitch. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 I'm sorry 11 stitches over so here we're going to do 11 stitches over to the right side here on that stitch I'm going to stick in my hook so here's my slip stitch I count it over to the right 11 stitches put in my slip my hook there I'm going to try to um, crochet some of these tails in at the same time as I'm working um, just to try to um, hide some of those and then I don't have to do so much um, sewing and tails because that's not my favorite part. So here you're going to slip stitch. I'm going to pull out my tail. Okay, I'm going to tie this here. Okay. Once you tie that there, I want you to chain 13. This is our strap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Okay, so now that is your 13th chain. You're going to turn your work this way. So now what we're going to do, we're going to count from the on the fifth chain from the end. So we're going to get here. One, two, three, four, five. Right here, I'm going to do a half double crochet there. Pull through three. And that has created the little hole for our button okay now here after I do that I'm going to um, half double crochet in the next seven chains okay so here is my seven chains I'm going to do half double crochet okay you're up it's kind of hard to see because they're dark one Two, this is creating my little strap. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven, okay. I'm gonna reach this one seven. So here I've done, oh, well, almost done. Here's seven. So once I do seven here, this is going to be the little strap that's gonna come over. So I have seven here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three single crochets together, a decrease like we did on the top. I'm gonna be burying this string as I go along. So here on my next chain, I'm going to stick in my hook, pull out my yarn, but I'm not going to pull it through yet. The next stitch, push in my hook, pull out my yarn, do not pull it through. And then the third, pull it in, don't pull it out yet. So those four loops, and I'm going to pull through all four loops. 
and that's giving me the shape of my little strap. So now here I'm going to do a half double crochet all the way across until I'm on this side across from my strap and I'm going to come here into my first on top of my first post okay and I believe let me see how many I believe it's 20 stitches so anyway I'm going to do my 20 stitches all the way around here including the spaces the chains here so go ahead and do one half double crochet in each of the next 20 spaces and see how I am hiding bury my tail there as I go it's just that way it helps me not to have so many tails to bury um, to have to sew because I I hate doing the sewing at the end it's just not that fun so go ahead and do that for your shoe okay I finished doing my 20 stitches all the way across and see how you end up here um, right over this middle post here so now here you can go ahead and um, cut your yarn there you're going to bind off and see how I buried the other string too so try to bury as many as your tails as you can as when you're crocheting um, when you're crocheting and then this one I'm going to bury in when I do the trim work around so go ahead and do that for this one and cut off your yarn okay so this is going to be our first shoe okay now for our next shoe this one we already got that there so now you're going to get your shoe pick it up here's your slip stitch here okay and now we're going to count here from this slip stitch to the left you're going to count 15 stitches to the left so here is um, the first one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and 15 so here I'm going to stick in my yarn there okay see how we're working in the opposite ends now they're going to be the first time we did it to the right to the left now we're doing to the right so here from the slip stitch over count 15 and on that 15th chain stick in your hook now here you're going to pull in your yarn pull out your yarn you're going to slip stitch and you're gonna, I'm going to tie it off we're going to do the same thing only backwards <laughs> so here now once again we're going to chain 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 so we do 13 chains just like we did on the other side once we do the 13 remember on the chain the fifth chain from the end one two three four five let me see one two three four and five right here is where I'm going to begin doing my half double crochets so I'm going to wrap my yarn and do one half double crochet that creates the hole for our button and now we're going to go back down till we get to um, we're going to have double crochet in the next seven chains so here I go uh, if I could see it maybe I should have done this in a brighter color one two three four five six that there. and seven now when we get to the seventh one there that's my seventh one now we're going to do the three single crochets together and then I'm going to try to um, bury my tail as I go along there so here in my next one I stick in my yarn my hook without wrapping over I pull out my first string there's one I'm going to go to my second one two and then the third one pull it out so there should be four loops there and I'm going to work this tail in there now you're going to pull through all 
four loops. And now I want you to do a half double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches and you should end up uh, here on this end. So go ahead and do the 20 stitches, then you can tie off and we'll go on to do the trim. Okay, all, now all that's left to do is our single crochet around our um, shoe. So we're just going to attach, you're going to attach it um, anywhere here in the corners or, you know, it's easier, we're going to start. So you're just going to attach it and you're going to work from right to left. You're going to go around all the top. Then we're going to do the front part of the shoe here, the front, and then the back. If you want to do the back, it's up to you. I did, as you can see, I did this around the top opening, the front, and then the back. I did not do these because... Um, it didn't call for that in um, the pattern from Topsy Turvy. So I'm just going to do this here. So now I did use a thinner yarn, which was actually probably a mistake, but I didn't have the right blue color like she had in her pattern. So I wanted to kind of keep it the same. So here I'm just going to grab, uh, probably here on top, I'm going to grab my yarn. If I could get it here through there, and it's kind of weird when there's not the same weight, it just kind of see how it kind of frays. I didn't like that. And so, here is my end. I'm going to tie this with the brown tail there. The tail is kind of the brown tail is a little bit long, so I'm going to trim it a little bit. Okay, just kind of make them the same. Now, once you're here. All you're going to do is chain one, okay, just to get up. And now we're going to single crochet in each chain just to give it a little trim. This one might be hard because it's right on top. So here, let me see. Oops. So here is our first one. I'm going to single crochet and I'm going to start burying those tails. So now I go to the next one here. If you want to do a decrease in the corners, you can. So here is, I'm going to be going around all the way around my edge on top. Let's see here, I'm trying to bury those tails there. Get the tail in there, single crochet. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around. So go ahead and work all the way around your little opening here on your sandal. And when we come back, I'll show you how you're just going to attach here from work from right to left, from right to left in the back. Then you're going to pull your tails um, on the bottoms here. You're going to pull them through the underneath, and then on top, we're just going to have to sew those in. Oh, you have to sew one tail in. That's not too bad, though. So I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. I really apologize for the last one here that it was wrong. I'm trying to, I was trying to get some help in helping me edit, but um, I guess, you know, that didn't work out. So maybe I'll be able to find somebody else. But for now, I'm going to still have to be doing it myself. And um, I want to remind you guys to please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And to um, hit the like button. And then I was going to say, um, I want to remind you guys to make sure you watch the ads before the... The video in the whole length. I know sometimes it's a hassle because some, some of them are really short and then some of them are longer, but that really helps me, especially now that I haven't, um, I don't have a job. So I'm going to try to be doing um, the crochet uh, full time and I'm developing the patterns and hopefully I'm hoping you guys will support me by purchasing some of my patterns and um, I'm going to be putting up all the stuff I make into my Etsy shop because I'm getting so much stuff here at the house. I just can't I can't keep it all and then someone suggested that I use like more expensive yarn um, well just economically speaking right now I just I'm not able to do that so I mean like this is burn the blue is burnett one uh, yarn baby yarn and the brown and the tan is impeccable but obviously if you use better yarn of course yes your stuff is going to come out nicer and right now sometimes I use like that simply soft from Caron and that comes out really nice. And I have a couple of um, uh, skeins from alpaca, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. So here on the edge here where the buttonhole is, you're also going into those chains there. 
and you're just single crocheting just to outline it. See how pretty it looks with the color? It really pops out. I like this color. Um, if you're doing it with pink or whatever, you just use whatever colors you like to kind of pop out that, that edge. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this the, around the top. And then I'm going to do also here in the back of the foot, the toe of the foot, and then in the back. I want you to do that to both of your sandals. And then we're going to come back. You just have to sew your button here. And then we're going to sew the bottom soles to make the bottom portion of our shoe. So go ahead and finish doing all your trim. It's just one single crochet all the way around. Okay, so I'm coming to the end here. And now when you get to the end, you're just going to slip stitch into your first um, stitch there and bind off. Oops. Uh-oh, I lost the stitch there. Here it is. I'm just going to pull it through and then I'm just going to bind off and that one, the tail, you will have to sew this in. Sorry guys. <laughs> you don't always get away with not having to do any sewing in. So I'm going to do my other side here my front and the back and I'm going to do my other shoe and then we're going to come back sew on the button and sew the bottom part and we'll be all done okay I finished sewing um, crocheting the edges here with the blue and so now oops sorry about that's my computer I pulled the tails from the other side here to the bottom and um, now I'm going to trim those tails a little bit because I don't need to be that long I'm going to hide all these tails underneath my second sole. I'm just going to cut them a little bit here. Okay. And then this one I'm going to bring in there too. So now I've just got uh, my tapestry needle and I threaded it with my brown thread, with my matching thread. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to put all these little strings through the inside here. I'm going to get my next sole put it up here and I'm going to sandwich it this way okay with all my strings I'm going to put the strings inside so I'm just going to push them in there and then this string also I'm just going to bring them all in here to the middle now I have my string here my uh, needle I'm going to bring it out just a little bit there to catch my end there sew it I mean uh, tie it excuse me just make a little knot to keep it from coming out the other side and as you're going along you're going to be just sticking all your threads in there okay so don't get worried about those here once I put my my thread here I'm going to bring it out to the outside of the shoe okay now these are going to be in here. I'm going to adjust my shoe there. It kind of looks like an Oreo, huh? And then once you do that, you're just going to come out and you're going to sew your two pieces together. Just like that. On here and your ridges, make sure you push in those strings. You don't want those coming out. And just go all the way around. You push in your strings as you go along so you can make sure everything's nice and even. And then this is also giving you the um, the look of the little seam of your thread here, your shoe. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just try to do it as carefully as you can. I'm just going to attach them both. I'm going to go all the way around, make sure I put in all my strings here. And I'm just going to continue sewing it both of my shoes this way. And see, here's our edge there. So now our seams will be here, like the way the seams on your shoes and sandals look. See that? So I want you to go ahead and sew both of your shoes like this together. That's why you need a two pairs of soles, the lighter sole and then the dark brown sole, or whatever color you're using. And then um, attach both of them this way, hiding all your tails in here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that and do that on both of my shoes. 
After I do that on both of my sandals, then all you need to do is get your button and sew it here on, e on both sides and then your shoe will be done. So go ahead and do that. I'll come back and I'll show you when it, this is done. Okay, I'm coming to my last stitch here. I'm going to go to the back and then just make a little stitch, a little knot, and I'm going to push these into the back. Just weave my yarn in there, pull it to the back so your knot ends up in the inside. I'm going to cut this off. So now my sandal is attached, both soles, all my tails are buried in the middle. Now all I have to do is the same yarn. I'm going to get my button. I'm going to put it here. And leave that tail there. Don't pull it all the way out. Don't, don't crisscross your, your stitches. Just up and down. There you go. Do the same thing on the other side. Once I have that there, I'm going to tie this into a knot. And then just trim this close. It's all in the inside, so it's not going to show. Now, just here's your buttonhole. And your sandal is done. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry I had to film it twice. The first time um, the editing was not correct. I apologize for any inconvenience. So I hope you'll make a bunch of these. Uh, these are so cute. Uh, it measures about four and a half inches from here to from the heel to the toe. So it's about 11 and a half centimeters. So it doesn't really go by age. You'll just have to check your child's, um, the baby's foot. If you want it smaller, then use a smaller hook. Larger, use a larger hook. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and help to spread the word about my channel. Please hit the like button and thank you so much for watching and have a great day.